aceable agent. They are quickly becoming one of the most popular options for would-be realtors who need to log their required pre-license class hours before they can take that state test and get their real estate license. But is aceable agent worthy of all this fuss? I mean, do they live up to all this hype? In this video, we're gonna find out. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Lancel, senior real estate writer and coach with TheClothes.com. In this video, we're going to be doing a behind the scenes video walkthrough and review of Aceable Agents real estate pre-license platform. Now I'm located in the state of Michigan, so I'll be doing a course specific for Michiganders who are looking to get their real estate license. But Aceable Agent offers courses in multiple states across the country. So if you're ready to get started, Let's dive in together and experience a day in the life of an Aceable Agent. As you can see, I have arrived at the Aceable Agent homepage, online real estate school for the modern student, convenient and fun courses backed by top producing real estate agents. So let's take a look. First, we're gonna click on the sign in button and that's gonna take us to our sign in page. Here you would enter your sign in credentials and it takes you straight to your classroom dashboard. Now, your dashboard is gonna look a little bit different than mine because I've already gone through all of the lessons here and covered all of the material. Um, but as a new student, you would log in and you would not see these green checks, which indicate that you still have sections of the course to cover. Let's, before we jump into the course, just take a quick look around at what the dashboard offers. You've got this uh, rundown of exactly uh, what is uh, covered in your course. This is especially helpful if you're keeping notes and uh, doing study guides for yourself on the specific sections. I know when I took my real estate license exam, there were certain sections that I needed to go back and focus on a little bit more um, because I didn't have quite the mastery of the content uh, like I did in other sections. So having them labeled like this is really helpful. Um, we also have a centerpiece here uh, for next steps. You can see the next step for me is uh, the conclusion uh, down here where I would take my final exam. Um, across the top here, we have a pretty typical uh, navigation section. We've got a profile area where we can uh, take a look at specific uh, profile details. Uh, records, if you had already taken your exam and you needed to have proof uh, of uh, completing your course, excuse me, if you're getting ready to take your exam and you need to have proof of a completed course, this is where you'd get it. Um, the resources area, which is really helpful. We're going to actually take a look at this in a little bit after we look at the course itself, but you know, practice tests, uh, study guide, um, and then a few other interesting uh, resources like this contract guide. Um, mastery tracking, key terms, which is kind of like a dictionary, uh, math guide, and a Quizlet. So we'll dive into that in a little bit. We also have, um, oops, let's go back here. We also have uh, a help section. This takes you to another window um, and answers some uh, typical frequently asked questions. There's also an area to contact if you have uh, further questions that are not answered by the help section. So without further ado, let's let's dive into uh, a section of the course, see what it's like inside here. So um, I'm just going to pick this section, the valuation and market analysis. You can see in addition to the green checks over here, you also get it broken down into subsections, which is really helpful. We've got uh, value in real estate, practice of appraisal, methods of estimating value, comparative market analyses. These are all things that we spend as real estate agents a lot of time thinking about. So it's great that uh, Aceable Agent is taking some time to think about them and presenting them as such. Uh, so far, I just wanna just start by saying 
I'm really impressed with the cleanliness, with the straightforward um, approach to the dashboard. It's really difficult to get confused on the Aceable Agent platform. I know exactly where the things are that I'm looking for. Um, and if I don't see something I'm looking for, it's usually just a couple of clicks away. So um, thus far, this has been a really clean and easy to understand experience. Um, and I can't say that that is always the case, especially when you are dealing with um, uh, education companies that maybe didn't start online. They're used to an in-classroom experience. Translating an in-classroom experience online can be difficult. So thus far, looking good, Aceable Agent. Let's get into uh, a lesson and see what uh, see what life is like as an Aceable Agent. So we're going to just select this last section here. The Comparative Market Analysis. Now you can see that this section is um, similar to all of the sections within the course. Okay, so um, it is slide based. So we've got our slide, uh, and this is helpful. Um, you can read through this. But what um, is really helpful about this particular spot um, and about all spots within the Aceable course is that there is audio narration available on this. And you can see up here in the corner, we've got a little speaker. Um, I'm going to click this speaker and uh, let's see what it sounds like. Chapter 4, Comparative Market Analysis. After completing Chapter 4, you'll be able to describe the process of preparing a comparative market analysis. Explain how a CMA can be used to price a property and identify how overpricing can prevent a property from selling. Why it matters. A comparative market analysis or CMA is an imperative skill for listing agents who are helping their sellers determine a listing price. As okay, let's uh, let's put a pause on that there. Um, as you can tell, this is not just a computer generated, um, uh, dictation of the content that's on the slide. This was actually somebody who was hired to uh, read through this material <clears throat> and and provide a uh, real level up in terms of value. I personally love this. Um, you can get this exact same experience on the dedicated Aceable Agent mobile app which frankly looks almost identical in terms of the way that the content is presented. You get the same easy button push uh, audio narration. Um, and that means that you can st uh, put this on your phone, you can stick your phone in your pocket, and you can listen to your lessons as you go. Um, it is, uh, frankly, it's a really interesting and innovative way of consuming your real estate uh, uh, pre-license hours. Um, who, who knew it? you could do this in the car on the way to your day job. You could do this while you're on the treadmill. You could do this in any different, uh, a number of different capacities. I really like that. Um, speaking of the content itself, the content here is really straightforward, easy to understand. You can see we've got this laid out pretty nicely here. We've got a chapter head, um, key initiatives, why it matters to learn these things, and the things that you need to understand in order to be successful here. Um, let's advance the slide. We'll take a look at what the next thing would look like. Okay, so here we're diving right into uh, the content itself. Um, this is pretty typical in the way that um, the uh, in the way that the uh, content is laid out. We kind of start with a with a top level slide, um, and then we get into some of the actual um, uh, meat and potatoes here. Uh, in this case, we're talking about CMAs, comparative market analyses what they are, what they aren't. You can see that we're working not on long form um, PDFs that were just uh, you know converted into slides. This is actual content um, that was designed more for a presentation in mind rather than just the conversion of a textbook. Now you can see that there is a decent amount of content here um, but again with the audio options it really is pretty consumable. Um, I like that they also use thoughtful uh, bolding where necessary. You've got your sections divided up uh, easily into consumable paragraphs. There is, it's very clear to me that somebody on the Aceable Agent side has got some expertise 
in online content uh, and, and how content is used to effectively communicate because this is very clearly a level up over, over some of their competitors. Um, okay, so this is a great example. So I just clicked to the next slide and we have one of these spot check uh, uh, tests to see if we have consumed um, the knowledge and if we're getting something out of it. So you can see I can't advance the slide. It's asking me to answer this question. Um, so let's answer it. To assist a seller in pricing a property, an agent should complete which of the following? A contextual market analysis? No, that couldn't be it. A completed market actualization? Nope. A comparative market analysis? That's the one. You can see that was not rocket science. Um, this was just a basic definition. The questions will get a little bit trickier as you go and as you learn, but that's good. That's what you want. You want to be spot checking your information every step of the way. Frankly, Aceable Agent does a good job of this. They are presenting these spot checks to make sure that you are not just listening passively, but you are also consuming um, for the purposes of learning and becoming a real estate professional. Oh, look, we got another one. In order to perform a CMA, you must have an appraisal license. I know that that is false. There we go. Very good. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Only agents who are representing sellers will conduct CMAs. Now, I know that this is also false, but let's just select a true just so you can see what it is like to get a wrong answer. Oh, look at that. Immediate correction of our missed step. When an appraisal report is available, which of the following best or provides the best indicator for setting a list price? Well, let's see here. Um, you know, I don't want to take all the time to read all the way through this. So let's take a look at uh, maybe this one. I think that's the one. All right. Okay. Hopefully we can move on. Yep. Okay. So now we would move on to the next section of the uh, content. We're going to skip forward a little bit here because I want to show you this. We have some video content here. Now this is standard practice within the Aceable um, uh, content library. These videos are built right into uh, the course material. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to get the audio on this, but let me just hit play. You can see it plays natively in the window. Um, and uh, we'll just do that. So you can see there is um, there is uh, uh, captions here. If you are actually on the property, you'll or excuse me, on the uh, platform here, you'll get the audio. But I don't think it's going to come through as I'm doing this recording. So. One thing I just want to point out here, these videos are high quality. They are well made. They're obviously, again, made by somebody who understands content marketing and knows how to present data in order to create um, uh, actual action from their students. And I really like this. Uh, again, as somebody who works in content all the time on the close, I can tell very quickly uh, the differences between high quality content and content that was just kind of slopped together. The Aceable Agent content is really solid here, guys. I'm really impressed with this. Um, this is the sort of thing that if I was taking my course again, I would absolutely be looking um, for this sort of course experience. So look at this. We have another um, we have another quiz. Uh, let's see here. Number of months it would take to sell a house in a buyer's market. Well, in a buyer's market. I didn't watch the thing, but I'm going to guess it's going to be this one. Let's take a look. Oh, six months or more. Okay. And then here we are. A little bit more of the content. I'm just going to kind of skip through. See if we can get through to the next step. Okay. And here we are. Um, with more content. Again, you can see this is all very clearly laid out, um, separated into readable chunks, easy to take notes on. Um, there's a lot of good stuff happening here, guys. And you can see up in the corner, we've got progress through our chapter. This is helpful, especially if you are studying in bits and pieces. You know, if you've got a day job and you've only got a few minutes to dedicate uh, to a chapter here and there, you can see where you're at uh, in your progress, and you can kind of knock this out a few pages at a time. 
Um, I love that about Aceable Agent that you have that ability. And in fact, the um, ability to put it down and come back to it, super easy here. Everything auto saves, so you don't have to save your progress. You don't have to worry about having to go back and repeat content. Um, whenever you click to a next slide, it just records that you've completed the previous one and you pick up right where you left off. Um, I, uh, I gotta say the overall usability of this platform is really, really great. Um, it's super helpful to be able to have uh, uh, markers like this and to have the content as consumable as it is. So this is the basic class experience that you'll get when you are an Aceable agent. And you can see you can go through, there are all sorts of topics within each of the chapters that you will cover uh, again, this is a Michigan pre-licensed course, so your state, if you're not in Michigan, will have some different features than this one does, but uh, this is generally what you can expect. Um, so uh, before we wrap up the the uh, tour of the Aceable Agent platform, I just want to give you guys a quick peek at the resources that you have available should you need them. So let's go to the resources tab. Um, first is the practice test area. Now, practice tests, very important. If you read any of the stuff I do on the close, you always will hear me talk about how important it is to practice. Um, this particular um, uh, package just has uh, a single practice test button, but there are Aceable Agent packages that allow you to build your own practice tests um, and have lots of practice questions available to you. So you can take a practice test, um, it will, you know, tell you, okay, in the state of Michigan, you need 70% to pass. Um, and then pretty straightforward as far as the format. In fact, this looks a lot like the questions that we were asked in stream in our course content. So no surprises here. You already know how to operate the interface. This is really helpful. Let's look at the study guide. Now, one of the things I will say that I wasn't so hot about Aceable Agent is in the actual um, uh, in the actual uh, course platform, it's a little frustrating that there is no in like on platform note taking um, uh, functionality. It would be great if I am taking my uh, course, if I'm estimating my methods of value, that I have somewhere that I could just pop open and say like right here uh, and be able to, to make notes about what I am reading and then be able to collect and collate those notes. That's, I think, a missed opportunity for Aceable. I understand that they're trying to create a mobile experience and not many people are going to be taking copious notes on their phone. Um, but there are going to be a fair amount of people who also consume on their desktop or do so in a hybrid way. Sometimes they're on their phone, sometimes they're on their computer. So having a note section would be helpful here. But Aceable does offer uh, a study guide and they go through chapter by chapter coordinating with the chapters in their courses, providing you with um, a, a note section here. Now, Again, this is just a static PDF, so you'd have to print this out um, or at the very least download it and make it an editable t PDF and, and type in your own notes. Frankly, that's a little laborious, like the notes section here. It's kind of a C minus answer as far as I'm concerned, but the overall aesthetic and helpfulness of the study guide is really, really great. I, I like this a lot. Um, could it have been built straight into uh, the platform? Yeah, probably, but for for the current iteration, this definitely works, okay? So that is uh, the study guide, and I'm glad that we have that. I think that that is, uh, I think that that is helpful. Let's look at um, what else we got here in the resources area. Okay, the writing, the contract writing style guide. This is helpful really specifically to the um, to the uh, content in the course pertaining to contract writing, but this is just a helpful guide for real estate contract writing in general. Like this is the sort of thing if I was um, uh, looking to compete directly with Aceable Agent, I would recreate this particular guide and uh, make it a download on the close because I personally, I think this is really, really helpful. Uh, it just gives you specifics about uh, writing a real estate contract. It's just a single page. This is a nice little resource to have here. Well, okay, what else we got here? Resources. <coughs> 
Okay, what else we got here? Okay, resources. We've got mastery tracking. Now, mastery tracking uh, is uh, a way for you as an aceable student to track uh, what you have covered and what you haven't covered. Um, this is, uh, like I said, this is the sort of thing like um, these little lightning bolts, they will appear if you haven't performed very well on quizzes or if um, uh, Aceable has determined through your performance through uh, the particular content, maybe this is an area that you should review. Frankly, I didn't really find a ton of functionality here. It could be that I, I answered too many of the questions correctly, and so I was just getting green check marks. Um, but, you know, if you are somebody who, especially if you're new to online education, this could be a helpful thing to have. Um, I personally didn't get a ton of value out of it, uh, but then again, I was probably answering too many of the questions correctly, which is a funny problem to have, but such is life. What else we got here? Okay, key terms. This is pretty straightforward. This is a basic glossary uh, of all of the kind of um, uh, real estate uh, industry specific terms that will be really helpful for you to have in your personal lexicon in order to be successful, both in this course and on your exam. And I guess in your career in general. So this is a helpful little dictionary to have. Uh, it gives you definitions. And one of the things I like about it is that it also gives you specific places where these terms are introduced. So if you uh, are looking at an acceleration clause, which is an important uh, aspect of mortgages, um, you'll find these in chapter four uh, at level five. And these are, again, it's helpful to have that reference there, uh, especially uh, if you're doing some review and you want to get a little bit more uh, information. So let's say you're doing some review before your test um, and you say, okay, ad valorem taxes. I know that sounds familiar. Here's the definition. I'm not still totally clear on this. I can go to chapter two, level two, and I can get some more information. So I, you know, personally, this is probably, um, a, again, this is a really helpful document to have when you are done with your class, um, you know, the level and chapter, that might not, that's obviously won't be uh, a, of relevance to you any longer, but this is the sort of PDF that I would save and just keep with me because you're going to need it. And then our last two, Math Guide. This is a very similar thing to uh, the, the um, glossary we were just looking at. It is a collection of all of the real estate math uh, that you'll see on the course. Um, uh, these are all really helpful uh, formulas to have, and again, a reference to where you can find them in the course. Last thing we've got on here in our resources section is the Quizlet. This is where you can uh, study for and design specific um, uh, course uh, studying. You can use the flashcards. You can use the learn function, which is uh, like little questions. You can do the matching game uh, where you are uh, trying to match items with one another. Um, this is this is a cool uh, functionality for um, uh, Aceable Agent. This is a third-party platform, obviously. This is not something specific to Aceable Agent. And frankly, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't find myself spending a ton of time here um, because ultimately... Uh, I was getting the value I wanted out of the course, but if you want some extra uh, push on this, especially if you are new to online education or nervous about your test, uh, the Quizlet function is one that you might enjoy. And that's it, guys. This is uh, Aceable Agent Walkthrough. I'm just going to open up uh, one last section here while I say my uh, my thank yous. Guys, it was really great to take you through this. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that uh, you found some value in this walkthrough. And if you're considering Aceable Agent, I hope that you click the link below in our uh, video description. Um, close readers and watchers. We try to offer special discounts uh, and exclusives just for you guys. So 
So click the link in this video's description, find out what we can offer for you guys. Um, Aceful Agent is a great option for anyone who's looking to get their real estate license. Um, if you made it this far in this video, thank you so much. Hope it was helpful for you. Please feel free to drop a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and while you're doing it, hit that little notification bell. That way we can pop up in your um, uh, internet browsing experience whenever we've got new content that will help you level up your real estate business. Once again, I'm Chris Lonsell for theclose.com. Thank you so much for joining us today on this Aceable Agent walkthrough, and we'll see you next time.